Eddie Kingston injured his leg and with it he was booted out of the anarchy in the arena but there's been an update on that leg injury and today on Fog Football, Fog Wrestling sorry we are going to bring that to you, <laughs> football no he won't be playing any football, he broke his leg, not a chill, I say broke his leg, his leg's injured man and if you're wondering where he is and if you're hoping you were going to get him back sooner rather than later well I think you can uh, maybe not hope so much because I don't think that's going to happen troops, I don't think that's going to happen no, it's going to happen. I think Eddie Kingston is going to miss a significant amount of time. And that's why you shouldn't work on safe troops. That's why you should always try and get the job done, troops. And that's why you should always work safe. Come on. Absolutely. Get it done. Get it done. Absolute shite. But anyway, let's talk about Eddie Kingston, shall we? Eddie Kingston, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? As previously noted, Eddie Kingston was attacked by the Young Bucks and Jack Perry at the New Japan Pro Wrestling Resurgence event in Ontario. The angle was meant to build up the Bucks, Perry and Akada versus Kingston. Brian Danielson and FTR in an Anarchy in the Arena match at the 2024 AW Double Enough and Peter Few ever. It was reported that Kingston had been hurt during his match at the event. According to Mike Jones, the PW Insider, it was confirmed that Kingston suffered a Severe fracture to his leg from his New Japan Pro Wrestling match. Johnson noted the following. The injury was confirmed after a series of x-rays in California. Kingston is currently waiting for confirmation on how the injury will be addressed medically. We are told he is hoping to return by All In London 2024, but that will depend whether surgery is required. Kingston then posted <coughs> the following picture, which you can see on your screen right now. And it doesn't look... Too good. I mean, that looks like a guy that's going to be for a, a decent amount of time. Obviously, All In is, what, like three months away? It is in August. Just like last year. It doesn't look good for Kingston. He's sitting there in the hospital. Yeah, It looks like the most generic American hospital, doesn't it? The way he's just sitting out here. He's sitting there puffing on a cigar and sitting there doing that. But obviously, it, it's, you know, no, it's funny though, right? It's like obviously this match is supposed to be the Bucks, Jack Perry, Akada against Kingston, Bryan and FTR. But obviously Kingston's out injured, right? And he can't work. But then they've brought in a guy by the name of Darby Allen who's also injured and actually got hit by a bus. Does this not make Eddie Kingston just look incredibly weak? I think it does. I think it absolutely makes him look weak. I'm not saying it makes him look like the most pathetic human being on God's green earth, but it's like you're being replaced in a match that you're injured from where a guy that literally just got hit by a bus and is having to fight his way through. Like, how is Darby Allen even getting remotely close to being cleared, by the way? I don't understand it. I mean, the guy is literally, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I'm sitting here. I do not understand how Darby Allen has even been cleared. I'm not, I mean, Tony Khan probably didn't even bother his arse clearing him, to be honest, because it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me, big man. It does not make any sense to me. But Darby Allen's replaced him. Darby Allen's came out in the pink attire. Darby Allen's came out looking like a bit of a, a goofball. But we'll have to wait and see how that is um, going to go down. But of course, what else have we got to talk about with Eddie Kingston? I mean, does the guy is the guy not currently got two championship belts as well? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he does. And, and that is a bit of a freaking mess. It does look like a bit of a mess, to be honest, because if the guys get two belts, then why is he not forfeiting them at the end of the day? Probably not going to happen that way, to be honest, but we'll have to wait and see. But for, for Darby Allen, I think it's, I think it's burying. I think it's absolutely burying. Eddie kicks in like, I mean, you're being replaced in a match where a guy is injured. I get it. Some injuries are worse than others, but I don't know. It's not a good look. But then, but then they should work safer at the end of the day. You know what I mean? They shouldn't be doing any of that shit. Those spots over there, those spots over there were absolutely freaking mental, to say the least. Man, that, that spot, the suplex, the outside. And, I mean, see the amount of weight that's coming down. Of course. Of course, with the amount of weight coming down and hitting your leg on that apron, man, it's going to injure you like that. You know, it's, it's only uh, it's only common sense for Eddie Kingston, but I think he'll miss Wembley. That's my prediction. 